Hey everyone. Today I am wanting to talk to you about Thomas Stirner's book, The Practicing Mind, narrated by the author. If you look at the cover and the title, this looks like it would be a book on narration, or on, not on narration, on meditation, excuse me. This is a book that actually covers a good bit of range. Um, Thomas Stirner is a musician. He restores classical pianos. And the first part of the book is talking about how to improve our ability to practice and to learn by gaining control of our mind. How to do that by becoming, you know, mindful and present at, at all times. He, he gives a lot of examples from his own life. He, he talks a good bit about, you know, his philosophy on why, you know, as, as we get older, we get worse at practicing, you know, a good bit about whether you're focusing on, on the process of practice and the process of learning, or whether you're focusing, you know, just on the goal. I, an example he gives, which I really, really love, is from archery. You know, if, if you're, all, you're pra all, all you're focused on is, is hitting the target, then you're not going to do nearly as well as someone who is focused on the steps, getting the stance correct, you know, notching the arrow properly, drawing it back properly, you know, so all the things that you have to do to hit the target rather than just focusing on the target. As the book progresses, he, he progresses into other topics. He goes into some of his own philosophies, his his philosophy on materialism, um, some some Eastern kind of religious philosophies that they they don't really feel that way, but at the same time they kind of do. Um, he talks a bit about meditation, and he he rounds it all up and kind of brings it together fairly nicely. Th this is a book that I think pairs really well with Carol Dweck's book um, on mindset. You know, you, you listen to her book on mindset and, and you kind of realize, okay, maybe instead of, you know, thinking, hey, I'm as good as I'm ever going to get, maybe I, I can actually try some new things and learn and improve. And then you throw his book into the mix, which will give you a, a better way to practice and, and to learn. Um, I'm I'm not big into Eastern religion by any stretch of the imagination. And the little bit that he goes into that in, in no way detracts from the book for me. It, it it has a bit of an Eastern philosophy feel to it because of the way Mr. Sterner narrates. He has a very calm, patient way of narrating. It's not monotone. It's not boring, but it is relaxing. Not, not you know, I'm going to fall asleep while I'm driving down the road kind of relaxing, but I can calm myself and listen to what he's saying and just relax. That's can't really think of how to describe it other than it's, it's a relaxing, mellow kind of a delivery, almost like you're going to be going into meditation is the kind of delivery that he does. Um, I've listened to this book before more than once. It's definitely a book that I recommend and that's about all I got to say about it. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next time.